Chemical Equilibrium, Part 2 Equilibrium Position In this video, you'll practice writing equilibrium expressions and calculating equilibrium constants. You'll also discover how to mathematically manipulate the equilibrium constant from one reaction to determine the equilibrium constant for a similar reaction. And lastly, you'll review the differences between the equilibrium constant and the equilibrium position. Let's begin by calculating the equilibrium constant K for the Haber process at a temperature of 127 degrees Celsius, with these given equilibrium concentrations of ammonia, nitrogen, and hydrogen. The temperature is given not because it is needed to calculate K, but because K is dependent on temperature, and these equilibrium concentrations would be different and yield a different value for K at a different temperature. To calculate the equilibrium constant, we'll first need to apply the law of mass action to this balanced equation and write the equilibrium expression. According to the law of mass action, the equilibrium constant is equal to the molar concentration of ammonia squared divided by the product of the molar concentration of nitrogen and the molar concentration of hydrogen cubed. Remember that these concentrations are equilibrium concentrations not the initial concentrations. Fortunately for this calculation, the equilibrium concentrations are the ones given, so we'll just substitute them into the equilibrium expression and calculate the value of K. And so we get a value of 3.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. What if we were to observe the, at the same temperature the equilibrium established by this reaction, which, if you notice, is the reverse of the previous reaction? How would this new K compare to the previous one? By using the law of mass action for this reaction, Substituting the same concentrations and calculating the value of the rate constant, we can see that our new rate constant, let's call it K prime, is the reciprocal of our previous rate constant. As a result, the value of this rate constant, K prime, will be the reciprocal of the value of K. K prime is 2.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. What about this reaction? At the same temperature and the same equilibrium concentrations, how would this new K, call it K double prime, compare to the original value of K? By using the law of mass action for this reaction, substituting the same concentrations and calculating the value of the rate constant, we see that k double prime is equal to the original k to the one-half power. Because each of the coefficients are one-half times what they were. So k double prime is equal to the original rate constant k from the first reaction to the one half power. So k double prime is 1.9 times 10 to the second power. Let's see if we can make any general statements about what these calculations have revealed to us. 
Recall that this is the law of mass action. The equilibrium expression for the generic reaction in which A and B are reactants and C or D are products with their respective lowercase coefficients. If the reaction were reversed, applying the law of mass action makes the new equilibrium constant, we'll call it k prime, the reciprocal of k because the numerator and denominator of this ratio would be flipped. If the original reaction's coefficients were multiplied by some factor n, then applying the law of mass action makes the new equilibrium constant, we'll call it k double prime, equal to k to the power of n, because each of the powers in the equilibrium expression would also be increased by a factor of n. Because these examples use different balanced equations, they had different values for the equilibrium constant. But because the balanced equations were similar, in that they were reversed or multiplied by some factor, their equilibrium constants were related. Before we move on to more equilibrium concepts and calculations, it is important to make the distinction between two terms that students sometimes get confused. Those terms are the equilibrium constant and the equilibrium position. The equilibrium constant, K, is specific for each reaction at a specific temperature. The value of the equilibrium constant will always be the same, regardless of the initial concentrations of reactants and products. On the other hand, the equilibrium position is the term used for the concentrations of reactants and products present at equilibrium. The equilibrium position will vary based on the initial concentrations of reactants and products. These two terms are related because the concentrations of the equilibrium position can be plugged into the equilibrium expression from the law of mass action to find the equilibrium constant. Even though those equilibrium concentrations may vary, once they're plugged into the equilibrium expression, they will always give you the same equilibrium constant for that reaction at that temperature, regardless of the initial concentrations. Thank you for watching this video on the equilibrium position. If you have difficulty with calculating the equilibrium constant from equilibrium concentrations, with relating equilibrium constants for similar equations, or with differentiating between the equilibrium constant and the equilibrium position, please rewatch this video or refer to the related pages in your textbook. Leave a comment if you have any questions.